you know what, uh, this is kind of working, brother. Yes. It's like, we're going to go make contact. We're going to kick it in. Because every time uh, we go there, the car's not there, man. So the finance company wants us to make contact. After two or three times, we'll actually roll up to the actual address. We'll knock on the door, see what information we can get. It's basically just an information run. How you doing? Is William here? Uh, Billy? Yeah, we knocked and we got a lot of information. <laughs> Actually, more than I really bargained for. I gave him everything and as soon as I think I'm pregnant, he just takes off and Are goes you off with my... Not anymore. Oh, you thought you were pregnant? Mm-hmm. You know, this is one of those classic stories where the woman was wronged by the man and she's willing to do anything to get back at that man. He's probably hanging out over it with the with oh. the Jesse, Jesse the chip. Yeah, oh, it's like it's you like it's, yeah. it's it's like two blocks down this way, Why and then you're gonna you know make a, the a right. <laughs> okay, you're so gonna I, make a right. Make and, a right here. Yeah, and you just look for the biggest piece in that bar, and that's hey. gonna be him. Man, man wants to know. Man wants to know why I know where every bar is. I'm German Irish. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> what you have here is your basic working class neighborhood. The bars in here get pretty rowdy. When these Irish guys drink, they get nasty. Are you really gonna make me put that freaking thing on? <laughs> nice and clean, brother, from the dry cleaners. The hell it is, Ford wore this yesterday. Uh, no, he didn't. Here's the deal. What I need you guys to understand is that Whenever we do a corporate account, and only when we do a corporate account, we gotta wear a shirt. That way, if they see, you know, or someone uh, reports, all right, we gotta have you. Uh, all right, all right. Because, my brother, uh -huh. you're not getting any younger, and we need to have medical insurance, 401k, all that good stuff. All and right. we're, gonna, we're gonna do whatever they want, and if the deal works out good, if not, then, you know, we'll chuck the shirt. I can live with it, I can live with it. I didn't get in this business to, to work for corporate or you know, wear a uniform or punch a time clock. I, I just didn't do that, you know? And if this continues on, I'm really gonna have to seriously consider moving on. So, tell me how to get there since you already know where it's at. To my recollection, we gotta wait till these guys get it. To my recollection, it's down La Brea. Down La Brea? About, a, about two blocks, two, three blocks up. We get, there's a rear entrance to the alleyway. Oh, there's a front entrance. So you know this whole area, this is like the stomping grounds, huh? No, I just drink a lot. <laughs> I don't think we know where this place is. I've actually been there before, and I've actually uh, partied in there a few times. This is it right here, brother. This is it. Hey, there's two girls. What's going on, man? How you guys doing? All right. We're going to be back in an hour, man. You mind moving your truck? This is your car? Yeah, man. It's your... Well, yeah, are you William? You're, you're Billy? Yeah. You're Billy? Yeah. <laughs> hey, these two guys, they were just ridiculous. They were uh, another couple of drunk idiots playing a drinking game, which is good, because I'm a drinking guy myself. But when they thought about getting behind the wheel of a car, that's when I got a major problem with your dumb I'm from the finance company. I'm here to pick up the car. You know why I'm here, OK? What? Taking your car. Rosie tell you I was down here, man? Absolutely, Rosie did tell you you were down here. She says you owe her six hundred dollars too. I'm just telling you what she said, brother. I'm just telling you what she said. This guy, actually both these guys, were so drunk off their they really didn't know what was happening. Do me a favor, get out. I, I think the ladies here might be getting out of hand here for a second, so just don't. Uh, man, this I don't, is not cool, dude. You, do you mind not burping in my it's face, man? Right, you need to get out of the way, dude. I'm, I'm telling you right now, man. I'm going to tell you right now, you're not getting in the car, you're not getting by me. You're definitely not. Man, back up, go playing around. Okay? Dude, man, this is This is a serious matter. This, this is, is not a not joke. Not you shouldn't be drinking and driving. I'm what are you going to do? Make a decision. Well, I'm not giving you the keys, man. I, you don't have to give me the keys. I'm just telling you you're not getting in the car. So don't try to get in the car again. Okay? I s try to get in the car again now. I'm not playing around. Guys, I'm not playing around. Car, Calm down, man. Well, I mean, between the two of us, there's about 600 pounds of beef there. You know, they're not gonna, we're not gonna not get the car. Okay? Look, man. We already have the it, okay? 
Why hey, call a taxi. Cars? Call a taxi, take a bus, do what you gotta do. Why are all these cameras here? Dude, relax, okay? Listen, give up the key, quit playing around, but you guys are wasting our time. And look at you guys, shame on you guys, man. You're drunk, you wanna drive, you must be out Dude, of your this mind. this is cool, man. You can drive. You can drive, sure you can drive. I need to see, what? I need to see some documentation. Dude, you can't see the front of your face right now. You can't see Why don't you just give up those keys and let's deal with this. This guy was just drunk. I mean, if he goes out there and he crashes into a pole, kills himself, or hits another car and kills someone else, man, that's not cool. Don't do it. Man. Did you guys lose a bet or something tonight? Is that what it is? It's a beauty contest. And I want first prize, so you need to recognize that. Recognizing it. it looks like you lost a bet, though, guys. Rosie can't uh, win a damn contest. You're absolutely right. If you can give me the key, though, I can get like get on with this. And All right, he he looks like he's trying to. Let me help you out. Let, 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 let me let, let him help you out. Let him help you out. But my opinion on the whole situation is, is I believe Lou and I saved some lives that night. These guys were so intoxicated, they had no business behind the wheel of a car. Period, bottom line. Mom's okay. Oh. So we're looking for Jason or Jason We're looking for Jason Okay. With 2008, uh, I can't read your writing. You know which cars are that, right? Yeah, they're these oh, tiny little cars that you and I are probably not gonna fit in. Well, this is the thing, okay, the is a guy got fired and obviously, He's driving around in this little smart car that he had to return, okay? So we're here to pick it up because it's got a GPS. There's nothing smart about you working for a company that sell, that has you driving the smart car, and you think that you can keep it after you've been canned, okay? It's a company car. Oh, so you kept a company car. Yeah, he ain't supposed to be keeping, he's supposed to be returning the crap. Yeah, you don't keep it. So they track the car here to here, and we're gonna go and pick it up. Well, I have a blue one right there. I don't see how we're gonna tow that thing because there's just no way. So obviously, we need the key. Yeah, that's quite as day. Well, I don't think it matters. Like, well, that's true, we do need keys. Look at that. No. Try it, Sonia. Oh my gosh. Sonia. Come on. Apparently that was the RO yelling through the gate, hey, what are you doing next to my car? Hi, I'm looking for Jason Is this your car? Yeah, it's my car. Can you come out so I can explain something to you and bring keys with you? I'm sorry to interrupt your tennis lesson. What's all this for? We're looking for Jason Who's yeah, that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, can you please just come over here so I can okay, let you know what it is? Okay, all okay. right then, that's please all we need. Come. That's all we need. That's all we need. We don't need anybody else yapping. If your job gave you a car, which is so gracious of the job to let you do your job and be in this car that was a smart car, you should be happy. And when the job is over, if they can, you need to return this stuff. And he, obviously, he wasn't too smart. Um, so this is your car, right? Yeah. Could you show me some paperwork that has your name on a title or registration or something? Um, Okay, well let, well, let me tell you what the problem is here, okay? Since she was trying to explain to it, but obviously we got too many people here. Okay, this car is a company car. It's a company car. You got you got, you got canned. You haven't returned what? the car. Okay, you haven't returned the car. I'm, I'm not talking to you. I, you have to return the car. You haven't returned it. Obviously, this guy had a little bit more on his plate than he actually had because he didn't tell his wife about his issue on that, on his job and the smart car. He had a lot of explaining to do. Dude, when did I... you get fired? This isn't even your car, dude. This is a company car, so if you're sorry. How long have you been fired if they're taking your car away? It's not even his, it's the company's. It's not his car. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, look, what is listen. All this? There's gotta be they're here There's for my protection and for your protection as well, okay? I don't understand what happened. Look, I was gonna tell you. And let me tell you something, guys. If you're married and you get canned, don't try to do a homer. You better go ahead and tell your wife that you got can and got no money coming in. Don't try to make things happen magically because let me tell you something, there ain't no damn magic beans anywhere. I got fired a week ago. For what? What What okay. else did you been doing that got you fired? Can you guys do, I deal with that somewhere else? I just need keys so I can sorry. take this back to that Look, company. I'm sorry, this is a very recent development. I don't understand why we're having this. Car taken away. I don't because understand why. Because it's not his. Okay, he, 
I don't know why he got fired. That's his business. But he got fired. The car's not his. It's the company's. He can't be driving around a company car that he's no longer part of the company. Wow. And how long has this been? That's all I want. I don't want to sit there and listen to how much, you know, he should have told you or whatever, yada, yada, yada. I don't care. I just want keys. Jason, we need to have the key of this car. Jason, hello. We need to have the keys of this car. Excuse me. Me. I don't have that time. Rude. Yes, it is. Why What's rude? Treated like this. Well, Nobody's treating you like this, okay? This is not his car. I took the keys. Yeah, he didn't exactly hand them over. He had them um, sticking out of, uh, I think it was wearing basketball shorts. And he had them sticking out of there. He can't be driving this car. Hey, what, you think this is a this no, cheap car? No. no, I'm not saying we're going to keep the car. Oh, I'm, I'm just saying why? Exactly, because I'm driving I'm, away. I don't understand why we can't just reconcile this with the company. and what? Reconcile it with the company and then give us a car. They still stay arguing, you know, and I'm pretty sure he's going to get a lot more when he gets home. Uh, Look, I'm sorry, you didn't have to find out like this. No, I, I really didn't you. want to have to find out like this. this is, what? Look at this camera scare. This is so embarrassing. No, what the f***? Oh, my God. <laughs> You know what, this guy was kind of at a loss for words, and you could tell. Wow, this car is a little, really little. This car's making me nervous. I don't like this car. I'm not too fond of the smart car. They got a lot of stuff in How's here. How's that car driver? Honestly, I don't like it. It's like, mm, mm. It's, it's because it's that battery and all that crazy green valves. Or... Well, let's just drive it to your yard. Come on. Have a ball driving the smart car. I'm telling you, first of all, I couldn't fit in the smart car. So obviously, they didn't make it too smart. Let's just welcome to Morongo Indian Reservation. So, this is the entrance? Okay, all right, wait, wait, slow down, slow down. Okay, you know we need permission to be on here, right? So what do you want to do? Let's just cruise in here. If we get stopped by tribal police, we'll just explain the situation and see what they kind of say, okay? That's about the best I can say. She knows exactly what they're going to say. I don't know. I mean, we might be able to get away with it. I don't know. I don't know about you, but I've been in this situation before. Well, you know I was married to a Navajo girl for 17 years. You know, for, first of all, before I get started talking about this particular repo today, I want to say yate to all my Navajo families out in uh, Arizona and Utah reservations. How you guys doing out there today? Do you live in the Indian Reservation? I visit a lot. <laughs> yeah, visiting and living is not the same, right? I visit a lot. It's a Tacoma, right? Uh, silver uh, Toyota Tacoma 07. We go just about anywhere that a car needs to be repo. But I usually don't like going to Indian Reservations because they have their own rules, their own laws, and I don't know anything about them. Is that their last name there? Oh, no, oh, no. I look on the box, okay? Yeah. I've never personally had to uh, repossess off a reservation before. Froy has, but it's a very touchy situation because it's a respect thing. You need to get permission to go on before you go deal with this kind of situation. The only thing I was gonna try to do is try to enter the premises and once we're in there, try to find the car. At least we get to know if the guy's really in there or not because usually at the gate you ask for the person, they won't give you any information on them. All right, get us out of here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. wait a minute, wait a minute. First of all, it was hard trying to find the address because everything in there is completely different. Once we find out where the address was, we had to go all the way to the back, and the truck is sitting on the left side over there by, by itself. So Matt gets off, goes vented. Okay. Hey, Richard, Richard. Richard, there's no need for that, okay? Hey, what are you doing here, man? You don't belong here. Richard, this is you not know, your land, bro. Richard, you know what I'm what doing. Are you doing? No, no, I don't know here. what you're doing here, bro. You Richard, take, no, you can't bring this truck. For hey, this. hey, 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 no, no, hey, nothing. What hey. are you doing here? You don't wanna, what are you doing here? But the guy sees Matt walking towards it. Matt's a big, tall, white boy that can be seen from anywhere, and the guy noticed he's not an Indian, so he goes after him and starts talking to him, but starts yelling at him to get out. No, 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 we're not, we're not gonna do this. No, no, you're not gonna do this. No, no, Richard, you know what I'm doing here. 
No, no. Hey, no. there's no need for this, man. No, no, you're not going to do this. Yeah. You don't know where you are. You can't touch that car. Yeah, I know exactly You can't what. touch that car. I know exactly You know where you are? Yes, I know where you are? Yes, I do. I know exactly You don't know where you are. Yes, I do. No. Yes, I do. You really don't know where you are. Yes, I do. This is native land. You can't do this Take this out of here, man. Take you and your tattoos and this busted ass truck out of here. Hold on. This is You're not coming in. Richard, Richard, Richard. No. This race is it's gonna stop right here. It's gonna happen. Okay. It's gonna happen today, buddy. It's gonna stop right here. It's gonna stop right here. It's gonna happen today, buddy. Okay. It's going down right now. It is. No. It's gonna go down right now. You're not taking that car. Okay. You and your little here are not gonna take this. It's gonna go down right now, buddy. Okay. It ain't gonna happen. All this race is gonna go down. happen. You ain't gonna touch anything on this land, on this property. And I'm like, dude, there's no reason to be calling anybody names. We're here to pick up the car. All you have to do is make your payment. You get it back. You made arrangements. It's not happen. You made arrangements it's not happen. in another world. It's not gonna and happen. now you're hiding here. You need to go back. Is that to that what you're doing? World. You need to go back to that is other that world. Is that what you're doing? Go back to that other world, man. I'm asking you a question, man. I'm asking you like that. a man. Dude. You make an you make an arrangement in another world, and then you come hide in the white here. man's world. Yeah, you're gonna hide in the white man's world. Is that what you're gonna? About your wife. I know you world. don't, but you make arrangements but over there. But now you're here. Hi. But now you're here. Yeah. Man. Now I take it, watch take out, it watch back out. to the white man. Stop. Right now. Don't even stop man. until they get here. Let's take talk to them. Take it back to the white man. Let's do it. Come on now, big guy. Let's do it. We got a lot of, okay. a lot of static hey. going on. He wants my truck. He thinks he's going to okay. take my truck. Hold on. Hold on. Let's do it. brother. Calm down. Good, good, good. Let me get paperwork. Let me get paperwork. Okay. Let me get paperwork. I'm like, bro, just make your payment and you will never see us again. The problem is that we're trying to convince them to come down. The police gets there, you know, the Indian police. Get in that truck and get out of here. We're not going there to break any laws or to do anything illegal. We're just going there to pick up a car that somebody tried to finance and didn't take care of their business. Okay. You and all this Bro, I have a reef order. You haven't made your payment. Hey, I don't know about no order about nothing. Up front. Up front. I know about some strange social yeah. white man's laws. Follow out. Does he pass? Huh? Does he pass? No, 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 no. Just leave us. Let me go through the paperwork, guys. That would be yes. Tribal law is you cannot take something off the reservation. We, under, we understand that totally. We do. Okay. Okay. I don't want to end up. Can you get your hands on the hood? It's, uh, it's hot. So it's, it's hot. It's, it's hot. Do you mind? Come around to the back. Come around to the back. Just need your hands on the Okay. Where I can see Okay. Okay. You, you too. All right. right. Once they get there, one of the officers, he's kind of cool about it. I'm going to give him their respect. But to me, they're not my police. My police is outside the reservation. If the cops pull me over and says, pull your hands up, I'm pulling my hands up. But to me, that has nothing to do with me. I don't really listen to them, but I'm going to give them their respect. All right, we're out, we're out, we're out. We're out, we're out. This land. We're out. You're talking this, we're out. You're talking this, 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 this Oh yeah, we'll catch it. Matt, Matt. Bottom line, we had to leave the vehicle. And I had no problem with that. Uh, you know, we'll have Lou get in touch with tribal council and we'll go in and we'll get that car. And he was just telling you, dude, you know what? You're gonna have to leave. There's nothing we can do, do about it. We know he's wild. He handcuffs the, the RO, takes him in the back of the car, not to, you know, arrest him, just to, you know, calm him down and relax. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.